In Singapore, ground effect technology is alive and well. This is the airfish. It uses a reverse delta wing to help push air downwards and maintain the air pressure beneath it. It can reach a top speed of 75 miles an hour, powered by just a tiny 70 horsepower motorcycle engine. And its 12 gallon fuel tank gives it a range of 185 miles. Batman, eat your heart out. But if wig craft are to move beyond glorified water taxis, they need to get bigger, much bigger. In theory, wing and ground effect works better as the craft gets bigger. So a really big craft will be very, very efficient. That's where the economics starts to make sense, and, and you can start to build a business out of it. Funny you should say that. In South Korea, Jin Chung Park and his team are already hard at it. This is a combination of uh, hovercraft and aircraft. So uh, we are saying this is a fusion technology. That means a combination of uh, several uh, technologies, especially wing and ground effect. The WSH-500 solves the problem of takeoff by briefly diverting thrust from its engines under the craft, creating a temporary air cushion before the pilot puts his foot on the gas and it's full steam ahead. The South Korean WIG Sea Craft will carry 50 passengers and plans are already afoot for the next generation, a 350 passenger beast that can carry 40 tons of cargo, which is great news for fuel efficiency. So Cold War technology 50 years on could help us with the fight against global warming.